Hey everyone, this is Mr. Morrow. I'm going to teach you a few things about using the HDMI input menu for the RetroTINK 4K today. The RetroTINK 4K is a advanced scaler, so it's really helpful if you went ahead and tried looking through the wiki before you do anything else or just to get yourself familiar with all the different settings on the RetroTINK 4K. Um, and you can do that on the wiki, which is going to be linked below, or you can also always visit the RetroTank Discord. Um, regarding the HDMI decimation menu, this is going to be very quick because I you know, don't have too many examples to give. The, the ones that I love giving are for the Super Nintendo and for the Sega Genesis. Um, and essentially, you are just doing math to figure out what to what fraction to multiply the the uh, the output by to maybe get the original uh, the original um, resolution of something, and these usually go hand in hand. For me personally, these usually go hand in hand with any emulators that output in a resolution that is not the original console's output. Um, this may be helpful if you want to use the mister but don't want to use the automatic mister um features and you and and other things as well i've used this on the uh, analog pocket and i've used this feature on the um i've used this feature on a few playstation 4 and switch games but um and those are usually for hd collections if that applies so just so that you guys know um in this one I'm going to use Secret of Mana, which I'm playing right now, and Shining Force, uh, both on their on their respective Classic Mini consoles. Uh, Secret of Mana is going to be on the Super Nintendo Classic Mini, while Shining Force is going to be on the Genesis Classic Mini. Um, so, just to start, both of these consoles output in seven uh, 1280 by 720p, which is a um, that those are sort of just general sorry those are normal output resolutions for hdmi products 720p was very common so these consoles decided to output in 720p to sort of reach some sort of parity with whatever they were doing so um where do we start? Well, we know that the output is 720p, or it's 1280 by 720p, but these are both going to be outputting one to one in a four by three sort of, sorry, better said, they are both outputting one to one pixels um, to fit, yeah, to fit a four by, an integer scaled four by three to 720p, however, for both of them, the horizontal resolutions are not integer scale, they are sort of fractionally scaled, and we are extracting the integer scale from that. So um, you may have some trouble, so you'll, you'll figure this out. As I, as I mentioned, you're probably seeing this in 4K, but the, you're, actually you'll be seeing this in 1080p because you'll see the calculator is right next to me. The, this is how essentially how the, uh, how the HDMI receiver setup, the input decimation works. Input pixels tells you um, how many samples you will be taking from an HDMI input. So for example, one tells you to take every single sample from the horizontal, two takes tells you to take every other sample from the HDMI output, 1280 divided by two is 640, three tells you to take 426, of these out of the 1280. So it's every third, every fourth, etc. Output pixels is going to tell you um, out of every three, take the first two out of every, or out of every three, take the first three. Out of all of the input pixels, you're going to take the first, you're going to take two samples out of, uh, out of three, instead of just one out of two or one out of three in this case. So, in what you're looking at now is input pixels divided by three because you figured I figured out previously that when I play Super Nintendo games, it's actually a three times integer scale for a typical Super Nintendo game. However, Secret of Mana, the menus use 512 uh, pic wide pixels for the menus. 
that means that you would need to take two out of every three pixels. And so, the, but the, the other thing you might wanna do is just, I have the calculator up, is you might wanna say, what is the, what is the, Asp oh, sorry, what is the width that you're, this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be, and that's 512. Well, you divide that by the actual width of the game, which in this case is going to be nine, is going to be uh, 768. And I will prove that to you right now by going through, here, let's load the default profile. And then go to the trim. We're gonna trim the left and the right until the until it meets the edge of the screen. And you're going to see that the horizontal width is going to be 768. So that means that it's taking a total width of 768. So you take the width that it's supposed to be, 512, and divide that by the width that it currently is, 768, and you get this number. Um, this number is actually two thirds. I just know the math. Um, so what we want to do is we want to go to the ADC menu. Input pixels is going to be three. And then output pixels is going to be two. So this is all theoretical in my head. If you're looking at this now, you are going to see that it doesn't actually um, do, it doesn't actually take the width correctly because part of the, the width, part of the letters are going to be cut off. However, that's where the initial phase portion of it comes in. The initial phase tells you, I want the first two out of three when you do the first one. When you do two of three, it you see that it already starts looking correct, and two of three means that I want the second and third uh, pixels to be grabbed out of this group of three, and three, of three means that I want the third and first pixels grabbed out of a out of a group of three. So um, in this case, both two and three look the same, and they both look correct. And if we were to go to the left trim and right trim and trim this again, you would see that we actually hit the resolution that we were trying to hit before, and that's going to be 512. So we've hit the natural resolution, uh, the natural width of this, and it's being uh, scaled to 4K. Now, if you bring in the top trim, which is um, sorry, you're supposed to actually increase the vertical prescale first to three, and then you're going to see that you've reached 512 by 224, which is the original resolution of this game's menu. But what if it's scaled in a different way? Well, let's go ahead and load the default profile. And then we are going to switch over to the Genesis Classic. And if you didn't know, the Genesis Classic scales everything to 960 by 720 as opposed to um, 768 by 720, which is still a three times integer scale. However, the issue here is going to be that it, because Shining Force is a 256 game, we know that we know that it's supposed to scale differently. It doesn't evenly scale to 960. And I'll show you this here. Let's go ahead and increase the left trim. and then decrease the right trim. So as I mentioned, this is being scaled to 960 in the horizontal. So let's do the same math that we did before. Um, let's take 256, which is the width of this game, and then divide that by 960. Well, we get this number. This number is actually 4 fifteenths. Um, yeah, so if I were to do 4 divided by 15, it would be the same number. So now that we know that, let's go ahead into the ADC menu um, and then set, in, set input pixels to 15. 
and then set output pixels to four, as I mentioned before. And it's pr actually looking pretty okay right now. There is nothing else to do. So let's take a look and see what this horizontal resolution is by decreasing the left and right trims until we hit the edges. And as you can see, we've hit 256, which is the original resolution of the game. So um, to use to use the ADC menu and to use HDMI decimation, you have to know the original resolution of a game and what the resolution is being output to, and then you do some math to get uh, the, the fractions that you need. This may be helpful for um, getting scan lines on certain on certain games, or it may be helpful getting the original resolution out of certain games. This is very helpful for me when I'm playing with games on emulators. So maybe you might be able to use this too, but that pretty much is the end of that tutorial.